My name is Hannah McKinney. I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I'm the vice mayor. What to me makes Kalamazoo special, I mean, it's one of those places that has a lot of social capital. And people tend to do things, they tend to get excited about things, um, and do a lot of really good work in the community. You know, one of the things that, that always strikes me is, you know, we, we talk about how it's the big metro areas that are important, but then scratch under the surface and see where people live, and they live in those little towns in the metro area, and those little towns are lacking basic services, basic uh, retail services, basic, you know, so I think there's a lot of rebuilding we have to do, and I think we have to do it smartly. So we've got to have the urbanized area, the rural area, and really celebrate them both. Well, I actually think that neighborhoods are the key to urban centers because you have to have places that people want to live. A strong neighborhood to me is, is a place that people will meet each other. You know, they, they don't necessarily have to be best friends, but they have to see each other on the street. They have to have a sense of community. You know, there's something about, you know, knowing your neighbors when your neighbors are very different from yourself in many ways, and yet you love the community. So they're not all that different. And it creates a richness, a quality of life that um, is very, very important. And I think that, you know, we've really got to be thinking in those terms. That sense of being tied to a physical location is, is something that for many people doesn't exist anymore. And we need to create neighborhoods that are unique, that are livable, that people say, oh, I live in West Main Hill, which is where I live, West Main Hill. And that means something in Kalamazoo, that I live there. To me, the biggest problem facing many American cities today is uh, declining property tax revenue. You know, as long as our properties, um, you know, real estate values in much of the, the country is still going down. And even those places where it's stabilized, it's not going up the way it used to. So that means public budgets have to be changing. And that's a huge opportunity for us because that means that there is a real reason to start consolidating and thinking more in terms of, of smart urban areas. I always see concerns as opportunities because a concern means something has to change. And when something has to change, you can either push it along to create something that you want to see or you can just go into the woe is me, woe is me and you know sort of passively live with it. I mean I really have been doing this for 20 years you know maybe even more than 20 years because I started out on the planning commission of our city and I do feel like this is an important moment you know that that you know for 20 years it was a good idea that no one really wanted to pay much attention to um, but now I think we have to. And it's really about quality of life for people, well, for Americans, really. I mean, how do we live the kinds of lives that, um, you know, make us happy, make us complete? So to me, that's what smart growth is.